Okay, um, hello again. Uh, my name is Nick Southcote, and I wanted to do a little tutorial on how to bring um, Google SketchUp models into Cinema 4D and also into uh, Element 3D from Video Copilot. Um, so there's a little bit of a trick. I've done a previous tutorial. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, I've done a previous tutorial. If you uh, just search for how to import SketchUp models into Cinema 4D, this one here. Um, that's mine, and there's a bit of a hiccup. They've changed things at the um, 3D warehouse um, so that you can no longer download the DAE files or DEA files um, directly. Uh, so there's a little bit of a trick I'll show you. And the trick, um, I actually got the, uh, you know, kind of how to do it from this guy here on uh, cinema4dcafe.com or c4dcafe.com, the belt. So thank you to the belt for uh, giving me the the secret. Um, so we'll get started. Um, first thing, uh, you want to go to 3D Warehouse, and um, I've just already done this here. So uh, go to 3D Warehouse. I searched for Seattle and found this, uh, you know, cool model of the Seattle Sound Transit Light Rail. Um, all you need to do is go up to uh, Download, and instead of doing uh, SketchUp 8 model, don't do that. Do the uh, KMZ file. <clears throat> so let that download. And really, all you need to do um, to then be able to access the files is just rename it um, to a zip file. Um, the KMZ file is actually just a zip file, so now you can extract um, extract that here. So now you'll see we can go into it. Um, and then into the models, and right here is the the model that we want to use. It's got the the textures that are used um, for that model. So what you can do is go into Cinema 4D and simply go to File Merge, and let me just make sure I'm in the right place here. Yep. And then you can literally go into Models, and you can just select it. And um, you'll want to play around with the scale. You may need to do this a couple of times, but these settings seemed to work for me. Scale at five. Uh, millimeters, spline subdivision factor of 10, import 2D geometry, yes, and I haven't really mucked with the, the rest of the settings, so I don't really know what they do, but um, feel free to, to mess with them. So you do that, and there it is. Now, there's a couple of things that you'll notice going on, like right off the bat. Um, most of the geometry is good, um, however, there in almost every case I've found that you get a few odd uh, things that happen. So if you'll so here what what's actually going on is there is two pieces of geometry. So it, it's rendering out sort of like an inner and outer layer at the same time in the exact same place. And it appears that Cinema 4D you can't determine which ones are the outside and which ones are the uh, the inside. But there is a bit of a workaround and it's a bit of a pain, but um, basically select the you want to be on the selection mode there and then select it and then it will actually highlight where it is which is great so it'll show you where in the tree you need to go and it's actually down here so if you look there's there's two pieces um, like two polygon selections and one of these is the one that you don't want and one of them is the one that you do want um, I've had to play around with it and figure figure that out um, so I believe it was this one. So you can actually select and hide the other ones. And we'll just double check that these are high polygons. High polygons. And so you'll notice that it's there. So what I can actually do is unhide. That's one of them. And then here's the other one. And that one's actually a different color. It has a different texture on it. And I believe you want to keep the second one here. So let's see what happens. We'll just we'll just play through this. Um, unhide. I'm going to go into this mode here. I'm actually going to delete that. Can I just delete that? No, I can't. That's selecting the whole thing. Hold on. Bear with me here while I... OK, 
Okay, so we have deleted all the polygons in this selection here. So if we, um, we can now just hide that and let's bring this back, unhide, and there we go. Um, so we've deleted that sort of second copy, and then we render it, it's fixed. <clears throat> so I actually had to, in another model when I was sort of prepping for the tutorial, I went through and did all of this. You'll notice that it's all got that sort of can't figure out which one it is, and you've got to go in, select those polygons, you've got to hide the other one, hide the second selection, reveal that selection, delete them, and then unhide this one and then when you re-render it it should look good so um, I've already done that in a model um, so that that's basically what you need to do to fix the problem um, so all the all the polygons will be there um, you just need to go through that process for anything that's visible or anything that might be screwing up your your model I'm sure there's a better way to do it if anyone out there knows please let me know because this was incredibly time-consuming I mean this one little bit just you know it took me like 10 or 15 minutes to go through and it's not even a crucial element of the model uh, and these chairs on the inside are all uh, the same problem so it would take you know absolutely forever to, to get through it so if anybody knows of a better way to do it please let me know anyway um, moving on so the great thing is here you can save it so save the cinema 4d file um, I'll just go ahead and save it in here as the South Lake Union Transit. And uh, so now we have a Cinema 4D file, which we can now bring that Cinema 4D file into After Effects. So I'm just going to go into After Effects here. And so I've already set up a little scene. Um, I've got basically just a, a background with a gradient ramp, and I've got Element loaded. And so we'll just go in here, and we're just going to go into Import. And um, this is actually the one that I, I did previously. Um, you basically just want to locate the the model that you, or the Cinema 4D file that you saved, and then you can open it up into uh, After Effects and uh, so Element 3D. So we'll do that. Oops. And there it is. So personally. I think this is about as cool as it gets because now we've just taken a free model on, uh, you know, the Google SketchUp, and unless anyone can correct me, um, I believe that that is free to use, and we can now, you know, stylize and texture this. The cool thing is because it was brought into Cinema 4D, of course, all of the textures. Um, that were assigned to things are here and up there's our deal so we can start finding it's quite easy to find what's what and I usually just shut everything off until I figure it out so there's my windows I'm gonna go ahead and make that black just for the sake here and there we go um, and then yeah I mean just muck around with it oh that's our that's our main deal let's let's make that look shiny white that looks pretty, sort of, not really. <laughs> uh, let me find that front window just for the sake of it. I don't know what half of this stuff is doing. That's the little wave. Where are you, window? I know you're here. There you are. Uh, we'll make that also black. So just for the, the sake of the tour, and then go ahead and bring it out. I'm going to make a camera. Um, that's uh, Control-Alt-Shift-C, just for anyone doesn't know how to do that and then click C and then you've got your three mouse buttons that can then fly you around the, the model here and so here we go obviously we've got no lighting in this we could easily um, uh, control alt shift L uh, create a light um, God only knows where it is bring that in oops come on now so we can obviously light the scene that way. Uh, the other option, of course, is to go into Element, this, and Render Settings, go to Lighting, and we can, I'm going to uncheck Use Comp Lighting, and we're going to find our own. Let's do Dramatic. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 360. Yeah, that's a little better, but a little bit better. So um, we can bring that down or what have you. So anyway, um, that's the, the basic gist of it, and all of the 
all of the geometry looks pretty good. I mean, there's there's really not any funky stuff going on after we fixed the problems up here. So um, maybe a little bit. Maybe that's just a reflection. Uh, no, no, that's literally. A, maybe I deleted something up here in the. Uh, anyway, you know, you can play around with it. Uh, see how it works for you. Um, I'd love to see some, uh, you know, response videos or something. Let me know uh, what you were able to come up with. Um, let me know if you find any cool SketchUp models that uh, are worth bringing into uh, into After Effects and Element 3D, and uh, or into Cinema 4D. So yeah, that's the uh, that's pretty much it. Um, again, my name's Nick uh, Southcote, and this was uh, just a brief tutorial on how to import uh, 3D models from Google SketchUp into both Cinema 4D and then into After Effects and subsequently uh, Element 3D from Video Copilot. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.